Miss Danielle here, and I have a word for you. There is beauty in the lesson. So some of us, we're going through lessons. We're going through things that, you know, are the consequences of the sins that we chose to do. And, you know, we're experiencing a lesson in life. So there is a blessing in this lesson. So the verse for this video is Proverbs 24, 32, and it reads, it says, I applied my heart to what I observed and learned a lesson from what I saw. So like I said, we're going through a time in our life where we're experiencing an experience that we probably may have never experienced before, but you know, God allowed it to happen in order for it to teach us. This verse says, I apply my heart to what I observed. There's something that you're seeing for the first time. There's something that you're experiencing for the first time. And you know, you may have never had this. Some examples, you may be, you know, a single parent now because you chose to have sex with someone who did not want to be, you know, a family with you. You may be going through the process of going through court because you got tickets or you got warrants or something. You may have a lot of debt right now because you chose to lack self-control and spend too much money or you were irresponsible with the finances and, you know, the money that God blessed you with. Um, some of us, our health is out of control. Like we're overweight, we're obese. We, you know, we're having to keep going to the doctor for something because, you know, we let it get out of hand. Um, some of us, we may have just lost our job because, you know, we couldn't keep, we didn't have the discipline we needed to, to go every day. So they fired us. Or some of us, we may have lost, you know, a home. Like we couldn't afford it no more. We were irresponsible with our money, like I said, and now we don't have that. Um, or some of us, we may be going through a lesson like, you know, just like we lost something, like we lost a relationship, we lost a friendship, we lost our parents, we lost, you know, whatever it is, we're being taught a lesson in this and it's to, you know, make us better in the end. So again, it says, I applied my heart to what I observed. Whatever you're seeing right now, whatever you're going through, it's important to pay attention. It's important to ask yourself and ask the Most High God, like, Lord, what are you telling me? What am I supposed to learn from this? Because God is making you go through that experience for a reason. He wants you to learn from it. And then it says, and learned a lesson from what I saw. So again, God is trying to teach you. He's trying to let you know, like, I want you to work on patience this year. Or I want you to work on forgiving. Or I want you to work on discipline. Or I want you to work on seeking my kingdom first and serving me first before you serve the world. Or, you know, whatever the lesson is that God is trying to teach you, it's so important that you pay attention to it because it's important. Some people in this life, they go through the same lesson over and over again and they never learn, you know, what they were supposed to learn. If you think of what a lesson is, it's something that is being taught. A teacher, they teach lessons. They teach lessons on math, reading, science, social studies, whatever. And the kids are supposed to learn whatever they're being taught. And then, you know, they take a test over the lesson and... After they take the test, they either pass the test or they fail the test. So if they fail, they got to take the, take the test again. Some of us, we're those type of people. Like, we have to keep taking the same test. God wants you to pass your test this year. He wants you to come into him wholeheartedly with your full, whole heart and live for him and pass all the tests that he's given you. God can give many different tests. It can be a test of patience. You know what I'm saying? Something may happen where it's testing your patience. It's trying you. Um, God can give a test of integrity. He may show you something or give you something. He's going to see what you're going to do with it. Um, God can give tests in any type of way. It's a test and it's from God and he's trying to see what are you going to do? And I want to remind you that if you are faithful in little, you will be faithful in much. So whatever it is that God is blessing you with, whether it's small or big, be faithful in it and handle it with care, handle it with love, handle it with integrity and be a good steward. God wants you to be a good steward. He wants you to handle everything that you got going on in your life with um, with love and care. And he wants you to be responsible so that he can trust you with more. Because God wants to use people. He wants people to be a vessel for him. He wants people to be a light in this world. He wants people to serve him and bring other people to him. He wants his people to be disciples. So it's important that you work on that this year. Because, again, y'all see the world that we're in? Hmm. Yes, the Lord wants to use his people. I want to give you the definition of steward because this is important. Because once you learn those lessons, like I said, and you understand that it was a blessing and it taught you, now you have to, you know, help other people. So the definition of steward is a person who looks after the passengers on a ship 
aircraft, or train and brings them meals. A person responsible for supplies of food to a college, club, or institution. And then it says to supervise arrangements to keep order at a large event. And then it says to manage or look after another person's you know, property or a person. So being a steward is important. A steward, they manage other people. They help other people. They make sure everybody else got what they need. God wants you to be a steward for him. You have to be willing. And when you're a steward for God, like you have to get into that place where God can use you. You have to be fasting. You have to be praying. So yes, God wants you to get into that place where you are, he can speak to you. And the way you do that, you got to be free from all the worldly stuff. And you got to be come into God's world. You got to come into Christ. You got to, you know, really take up your cross and, you know, be, be open because God has to be able to speak to you if he's going to use you, you know? And with that, it's like, you're not going to be with the world no more. You know, you may got to delete your social media. I don't got social media right now. And I haven't for like about a year. I always was like in a place where I was deactivating it. Because I don't like all that anyway. But I don't have social media. The only thing I got right now is this YouTube. And I'm about to, you know, do something. I'm only on here to be a messenger is what I should say. Because some people, they own social media for attention or, you know, to keep up in everybody else's business. But God don't want that. He want to be able to speak directly to you. And he wants you to focus on him. And you can't do that if you're always, you know, on the internet and other people's business and stuff like that. So, yes, you have to separate yourself from the world. And that, that, that can be a lonely walk. And you're going to need to lean on God at that time. So just remember that there's a blessing in every lesson. And the lesson is being taught to you. And God is watching you. He wants you to take your test. And he wants you to pass your test. And then, again, he wants you to know that it was a blessing at the end of the day. Because... Some of us, we think that lessons are like, oh, why I got to go through this? Why this? But it's, you know, it's a good thing. It's not a bad thing. So just remember that. So look, I pray that this message blessed you. I love you. God bless you. And I'll see you next time.